So we were good friends. We would talk regularly. We would see each other. Uh, we, we didn't live in the same city, but we were very good friends. It came up on a trip. Hey, what if you want? I was thinking of starting a company. Oh, I'm thinking about starting a company too. Uh, why don't we start exploring it together? It started innocuously in the sense that we thought we would parallel, in parallel explore our different ideas, but sort of just use each other's tools to, to explore and then go off our ways. At some point, we started to, to realize we enjoyed our discussions, enjoyed our, our business discussions, because we had previously just been social friends, right? We had never worked on an entrepreneurial project together. So in that daily, eventually daily phone call for about an hour, we really came to appreciate each other, came to enjoy bouncing ideas off of each other. Uh, it felt good to have another person for for him as an industry person. It was great validation to have a, a Harvard MBA um, in the picture. For me, it was great industry, uh, great validation to have an industry person in the picture, right? So it was complimentary in the superficial sense of projecting an image of, of stability to something that is underneath it all very chaotic. And I think over Christmas, we spent um, a bunch of time in the same city together working on the idea, trying to push it forward. And, and then as we made this march towards May, right, graduation, there was this, a, f a few seminal moments. October, we decided to really get serious and work together on something. I remember it was December 10th. I turned down my summer internship offer. For me, that was cutting the safety net. I said I was all in. Around that same time, each of us put $5,000 into a Silicon Valley bank checking account. And the idea was that we had this thing, right? And in retrospect, it was more of a symbolic thing. But some, each of us had put our money physically and conceptually, our money where our mouth was. We worked together over Christmas, uh, the, the Christmas break. And then February, March started to come around and the pressure started... It, it felt more real. Our conversations changed from conceptual brainstorming to tactical. Hey, what are you going to work on? What are you going to build? Less about, is this a good idea or that's a good idea? That's actually fun to do with people. But when it comes time to divvy up concrete work and work for eight hours on a task and eight hours on a task, it forced a bit more of the question. There was a clear signal when we were uh, applying to the business plan competition here on campus. And we divvied up the sections. And when it came time to kind of review our final work, there were major holes in the business plan. This was the symptom of the underlying issue that we started to see how much we overlapped. We both were general purpose business people. Neither of us wanted to spend a lot of time building. Both of us wanted to be CEO, and that wasn't a compatible thing. We had very similar backgrounds, right? We had both come from a large consulting company. Maybe a month after the business plan competition, it became crystal clear that there was too much overlap. There was too much tension. In the end, he pulled the trigger on saying, I don't think we should work together. I think I should stay at my current role. For me, it was devastating. It was clear that it should happen, but I had cut my safety net. I had already found an apartment in Palo Alto. And so I fly out, you know, July 1st with an air mattress and the five, half of the $5,000 in the bank account and uh, without a co-founder, just start working.